כי גמרא תרצס רבותיי, רבי שמעון בר יוחאי, and few other חכמים, they came to the city of Yavne. Yavne was the center of Am Yisrael after the destruction of Bet Hamikdash. And when they started the meeting, Gemara says, Rabbi Yehuda praised the Romans. He says, look, they're fixing the land. After the destruction of Bet Hamikdash, and destroying all Eretz Israel, sounds like America a little bit, you know, after America bombed Vietnam, and bombed Iraq, and bombed other countries, then the Americans sent people over there, and uh, money, to rebuild the whole thing. So the Gemara says the Romans did the same thing. They built bridges, they built markets, they fixed the highways. So Rabbi Yuda, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> started a meeting in the city of Yavne. By the way, the Romans gave Rabbi Yochad Ahmed Zakai the city of Yavne with all the Chachamim to continue the Torah. He praised them. Rabbi Yossi was at the meeting. He didn't say nothing. Rabbi Shumba Yochai was there at the meeting and he blessed the Romans. He said, whatever they did is for their own thing. Bridges, Washington Bridge, $18, pass the bridge. What kind of business is this? In Canada, they build a bridge and they said when people will pay the bridge, they'll take off the tolls. So they took off the toll. I had one Meshulach. Yemenite in my house, one time he said, can you ask me, can you do me a favor? He said, can I sit one day at Washington Bridge and collect the toll? I don't have to come to America anymore. Such a chutzpah they have to raise the price. I came to America in 1970, the toll was $1. And if you bought a ticket, it was 50 cents. Now it's $18. For what? Says Rabbi Shumba Yochai, that's for the Romans. They built bridges to take tolls. They made highways to do this. They made markets for this. There was a guy over there that went to the government and told the government. You know what happened? It was a meeting of all the Rabbanim and one of the Chachamim praised you and one was quiet and one blessed you. I said, who? He says, Yehuda, Rabbi Yehuda. So the woman says, Yehuda? Good. We'll elevate him. We gave him a big job and all kind of benefits. Rabbi Yossi, what did he say? He said he was quiet. I was quiet. We sent him out of his house. Exile. Rabbi Shimon Bar Yochai, we blasted. Kill him right now. Kill him. Big deal, so. What is this? This is Stalin. Stalin. Lenin. What do you mean? You speak against the government to kill you? Yeah, maybe. So the Gemara tells us that Rabbi Shema Yochai ran away with his son. First they learned in Beit Knesset, and they ended up 12 years in a cave. The question is, what's really behind it? What kind of punishment is this? To be 12 years, bury himself in the sand with his son? And actually the Gemara says that Leon Avi came after 12 years, and he says, Bar Yochai, who is going to tell Bar Yochai to come out? The Caesar died. The Caesar died in Rome. So you see, from, it's from Hashem. You see, Eliana, Hashem sent Eliyahu Navi to tell Rabbi Shem to come out. Obviously, it's from a puni- it was a punishment from Hashem. So what is it all about? So Ari says, until Rabbi Shem Bar Yochai, whoever's name was Shimon, had a bad luck. Since Yaakov Avinu cursed Shimon. What was really Shimon's real sin? What did he do? Well, simple explanation is he tried to kill Yosef. Okay, he tried to kill Yosef. Tried. 
Nothing happened and Judas told Yosef. Chachamim tell us, you know, when, when he was very young, under 13, about 13, Shimon and Levi went and killed the people of Shechem after they kidnapped Dina. So that's not so bad so far to try to release the sister from captivity, from the ISIS. But when they came home, Yaakov asked them, what did you do? Why did you do it? We are in danger now. All the goyim can make gang on us. And instead, to be quiet, Shimon answered Yaakov. He says, how can we let such a thing? We're not going to let it happen. He says, your father is telling you something. Lo is torret varav. One of the mitzvah of kibbut avahem. Irat avahem is he cannot answer your father. Besides, you didn't listen to him. But even talking back to your father. So your sin is in, the, in your mouth. And then... They want to kill Yosef. When Yosef arrived after his father sent him to see where are the brothers. So before he came closer already, Shimon told Levi, let's kill him, let's kill him. He said, that's, you see, something is wrong with your mouth. That's your problem in life. And here comes the Gemara and tells us, look, Rabbi Shimon Bar Yochai says that he was Tikkun Shimon. Correct Shimon. He said, what's Shimon's fault? What's his problem in life? Talking too much. What business in that meeting that you have? And one rabbi said, praise the Romans. They rebuild all the bridges. They fix the highways. They, they make markets. What business you have to say? Whatever they did is for their own use. It's they wanted to collect tolls. Pelaem. Maumonotoshel adam ba'olam mazei asim atzmo keilem. Your job in this world is to close your mouth shut. Don't waste words. Don't talk things you're not supposed to talk. What is hanging? From Hashem. They chased him. They wanted to kill him. To kill him what? You talk too much, you might die. You close your mouth, you'll, die. you'll, you'll be alive. You have to... Watch. Before you open your mouth and say something, watch what you say. It can be a death penalty. What death penalty? Look, Rabbi Shumba Yochai just said something against the government, they want to kill him. For what? Because you have to have your mouth clean. And don't say words not necessary. And Rabbi Shumba Yochai himself says, another Chachamim say, I wish HaKadosh Baruch Hu would create for me two kinds of mouths. One mouth to eat, and one mouth for the Torah. Not even say the Torah in the same mouth as a person eat. That's how holy the mouth is. This Chatz Shalom, Lashon Hara, is worse. It cannot be worse than Lashon Hara. But even just nonsense, talking nonsense, you can have to end up 12 years in a cave. They're looking for you, they're looking for you. This was the Tikkun. This was the Tikkun. Because you, Tikkun of Shimon, you got to close him out. Nevertheless, Yaakov Avinu before died, he cursed Shimon and Levi. And actually, Shimon never got a territory in Eretz Israel. He got to Eretz Israel, all the Shvatim got territory, Shimon didn't get, did not get. Yehuda gave him part of his. There was no judge and a king ever from the tribe of Shimon. From any other tribe, was either a king or a judge. Shimon never. Because the mouth. We have to guard and watch what we say. Every word to weigh it. Should I say it? Should I say it? Don't answer. Don't say, I know it. I heard it. Tell me. Don't tell me. What happened? Keep your mouth shut.